Haji Mukisa Karim omusomi wedua akola kusonga izenja uli. Ononye zemiri mjiganyi, business zoko la zizifwa, oyagala visa eganye, sende zofu na ziziku hita mungalo. Esonga zona Haji Mukisa Karim ya azimala. Eyandi mwetaze mfune kunamba yesimu 0 msambu msambu mnana, chenda mbili, chenda mwemu, ana mwemu. Haji Mukisa Karim omusomi wedua. Where does FDC go from here? I think without the leaders stepping back and uh, taking a breath to calm down, uh, the, the crisis will definitely escalate. And uh, I can't predict where the party will end, but quite likely where others have ended. <laughs> That's a likely <laughs> trajectory. Because you see what happens is once people who are in the party now start acting against others and others seek to uh, resist them and so on, quite often those who are in, in power tend to revert to the state to protect them against their members. <laughs> and, and I think that is likely a likely trajectory. If, mem if leaders don't step back and reflect on where, on whether that's where they want FDC to go, I think it's important that leaders stop back because there is now like an outright war it's still a war of words, but it can degenerate even into a physical uh, confrontation. That, uh, like we have seen indeed outside uh, headquarters of other parties. In fact, I hear that now to enter FDC headquarters, you need to be screened in, in some ways. There are Kanyamas there and things like that. So it, that, that escalation is likely to continue if leaders don't step back, take a breath, and reconsider what all this means. And especially to try and resolve the contradictions which are there, which are real, but more especially since there is, this is also, and this is why this is very dangerous, because it is happening in an election year, internal election year. So, uh, even before the election starts, you are at war. There is no way the managers of the elections are suspected uh, to be uneven handed. And uh, uh, that that spells a disaster. So I think it is important that all this grandstanding elections must continue, whatever should be avoided. I think time should be created by the party leaders to resolve these contradictions, to have a credible process, a process in which they are all members are uh, uh, confident. These other issues can even play themselves out in the, in the elections, and maybe there will be no way of stopping that. But that's sometimes what elections resolve. They resolve contradictions, you know, provided the outcome will be respected by all. Because if they are not, then you are heading for a rupture. That is uh, uh, the unfortunate uh, trajectory you may end up with. Uh, so I hope that uh, there will be sense prevailing to halt the electoral processes at least until the next national council where the controversies that had uh, been discussed by them 
and they appointed a committee can then engage with that and engage with the other issues that are uh, causing controversies and hopefully get uh, a solution out of it.